Okay, we're going to be talking about autosomes versus sex chromosomes. And I'm sure this is not a new subject for you. We're just going to review some basic points. So remember that um, when you're looking at a basic uh, karyotype, which is the, uh, the picture of all of your genes together, you have uh, 2n equals 46. So you have 23 pairs of genes. So you have 22 uh, autosomes and then one pair of sex chromosomes. So the chromosomes of the autosomes are 1 to 22. And an individual inherits one chromosome from each parent. And so the individual therefore inherits a paternal copy and a maternal copy of an autosomal gene. And then we have the sex chromosomes and these are of course X and Y. A female inherits an X from their mother and an X from their father. So those two X's would make them uh, a female and the male inherits an X from their mother and a Y from their father. So there we have it. And an interesting aside is uh, a story about Henry VIII who always blamed his wives uh, for not being able to have sons when in reality he was to blame because he was the one um, who would be giving the Y, uh, and if he didn't give the Y, if his one of his sperm was not carrying a Y, then uh, it would not become a male. So there you have it. And so those are the basics. Uh, and um, of course, when we're talking about autosomes, sex chromosomes, basic genetics, we must remember Men Mendel. Um, and his garden peas. And so Gregor Mendel studied these garden peas and uh, he noticed that uh, they, the basic genetics occurred in fixed proportions among the offspring of specific types of mating. So we'll talk a little bit more about that, but that is just the basics, autosomes versus sex chromosomes.